And uh, joining us now, the latest commitment for the Oklahoma State Cowboys in football, Raymond Gay the second from Red Oak High School down there in Texas. Uh, 5A football, in fact, uh, 5A Division II in the playoffs last year. And if it weren't for those darn Alito kids, it, man, they seem to win everything. Uh, they got beat by the, the team that won the state championship. If you're going to be eliminated in the playoffs, I guess that's, uh, you know, that's the best way to be eliminated. But this year, Red Oak brings a lot of talent back, and I think they're expecting to have uh, a big year for the Hawks. One of those seniors committed to Oklahoma State uh, is uh, is Raymond Gay the second. And, uh, Raymond, first of all, congratulations, and how are you? All is well over here. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Well, I always like to ask this question first. It makes sense. You're a speedster. You're a track guy. Uh, your stats last year, you know, 38 catches, you know, 700 plus yards, eight touchdowns, had another touchdown on an end around. Uh, so, you, you know, good numbers. Uh, what made you decide to commit to Oklahoma State? I just felt like that was the best decision as far as me with my academic career and my athletic career for my future and for my family. Business, right? Yes, sir. Going to study business at Oklahoma State. And I tell you what, he's also going to be studying uh, how to uh, defend guys like him because he's going to turn around and play some this year on the other side of the ball. He's had experience as a defensive back. But how unique was that among the schools that were recruiting you? How many were talking to you about offense versus what Oklahoma State, Coach Duffy, Coach Gundy and company, talking to you about being at, uh, on the corner on, on defense? All of the schools that were recruiting me were recruiting me as a receiver. So when I started, OSU was recruiting me as a DB. It was very shocking to me since I don't really have any varsity film. Well, and, and Coach Duffy, that's one of the things Oklahoma State kind of has a reputation of doing is not always looking at guys exactly what they're playing in high school, but looking at their skills and seeing where maybe they could be more successful at the uh, at the college level at another spot. Uh, I, I, I guess they talked you into it, but how long did it take Coach Duffy to convince you, hey, we think you'd do a better job stopping receivers than being one? Yes, sir. Once I got the offer, we started building a stronger relationship, talking day in and day out. So it took probably about a month, a month or so. Okay. Good enough. And uh, now this year for the uh, for the Red Oak Hawks, you'll play a little bit on both sides of the ball. Yes, sir. If um, I'll be playing receiver and DB. Like if the defense okay. need me on the defensive side of the ball, then I'll go over there and play DB. Now you've you've been up to Oklahoma State. No, sir, I haven't. Not yet. I'm planning okay. to. Okay. So, so you made your commitment. Uh, what are some of the things they were able to do during this pandemic? like over the internet, over computer, over your phone, that that allowed you to get more familiar with Oklahoma State? How, what were some of the things that, that they showed you virtually during recruiting? They sent me multiple videos. We did Zoom calls, virtual visits, and like just the relationship that I was able to build with the whole entire coaching staff while this crisis is going on. Do you feel like you have a pretty good uh, knowledge of the facilities? Because, I mean, I've seen some of the videos they put out on where you'll live, where you'll eat, where the locker room, the weight room. You feel like even though you haven't been here, you almost know what it looks like pretty well? Yes, sir. Like I said a while ago, they sent me plenty of videos to make me feel as much at home as I could. Okay. Talk a little bit, uh, again, Texas high school football. And I'm, I'm, I'm originally from Texas. I'm, I'm a – you know, a long, long time ago, but I'm a, I'm a former Texas high school football player, so I'm proud of it. But uh, that's a pretty good district you play in. Yes, sir. Talk about the well, competition you got. Excuse me, cut out. What did you say? Yeah, talk about the competition you've got down there uh, on your schedule at Red Oak. Oh, okay, so they recently just moved us to a new district. I think we're 5A Division One now. So right. we'll be playing like – more stiffer competition this year. Really, we don't have that many easy games. Really, none of our games are easy. All of them are going to be a dog fight, so I'm looking forward to it. Okay. All right. So you guys got uh, shuffled in the uh, the redistricting, and now you're moving up from Division Two to Division One. 
Okay. Yes, sir. That's, that's good. That's good to know. Well, hey, again, like uh, I told you yesterday when we talked to you, congratulations. Congratulate your folks uh, and and your coaches, everybody that's had a, you know, I saw where you thanked a little, your little league coaches for getting you started. I love that. So yes, uh, congratulations to everybody who's had a hand in this and, and uh, congratulations to you on getting a college scholarship. Thank you. I highly appreciate that. All right, uh, Raymond Gay the second. Have a have a good, safe summer. Hopefully, you'll be able to get back with your teammates and get to working out some here before long. And uh, we'll uh, we'll look forward to seeing you when you make your visit up to Stillwater. Yes, sir. I'm looking forward to it as well. All right. Uh, appreciate your time, Raymond. Thank you. All right, uh, Raymond Gay the second uh, joining us.